Hi guys, uh, welcome to this quick video on how to set up a throttle limit uh, on your HTX or OpenTX radio. Um, now, uh, someone in the HeWing official FPV community on Facebook asked me how you can set up the throttle limit. Um, the reason why they asked is because Unfortunately, although this uh, aircraft is rated uh, for 2 to 4 S, um, the motors can overheat and the ESCs can burn um, if you're going full throttle, 100% uh, throttle um, on the ESCs. So, um, yeah, it's th those are drone ESCs. Uh, they're not built for fixed wing aircraft. They don't have, uh, the motor nacelles don't actually have uh, enough airflow to cool them down properly so um, because of that it's important that you do the step and it's actually very easy to do um, don't be confused by the logos and stuff like that it's just because this is like a custom firmware um, that I built now, if you go into model settings and then you go on the inputs tab and hopefully this is how you have set up your model because I mean I, I have I've done inputs then mixes and then outputs you might have this differently. You might have everything configured in your mixes tab. I like to configure everything in the inputs tab um, so that when I arm and disarm, um, I can actually have a, a tag for that. You know, uh, This can be useful for, for other things as well. But anyway, um, if you haven't set this up exactly in the same way, um, just you know leave a comment on how you've done it in your radio and maybe I can make another video. But if you have it via the inputs, all you have to do is go into your throttle channel, uh, go into edit, and then you'll see two things. You'll see the weight and the offset. And these are the two parameters that we're gonna change right now. So the first one is gonna be the offset, uh, sorry, the weight. So we're gonna go down to, let's say 70%, because we want to limit it to 70% throttle. And then the offset we're gonna reduce to minus 30. As you can see, 30 plus 70, we make 100. So at the end of the day, what this did, as you can see by the graph on the side, which is very useful, we've now limited what the maximum output value can be. So as I'm moving the stick, you can see the cursor is going up and down on this straight line. And what it does is it limits what the maximum can be at the top. Now it says, as you can see, it says 100%. That means 100% movement in the X direction has given us 40% plus 40 from the neutral and plus 40 works out to be if we go into the channel monitor works out to be 1700 picoseconds the minimum for any channel is 1000 picoseconds the mid point on a regular channel for example the aileron channel channel 1 should be 1500 but because this is not an aileron channel this is not a channel that necessarily needs to have a center point we can say that the center point is actually less than that. So in our case, the center point is about 35% um, throttle. So 1,350 picoseconds would correspond to 35% throttle. If we then go to 100%, you can see how that has changed to 1,700, aka 70% throttle. I really recommend that you do this because there's a high chance that if you're using a 4S battery, um, you could burn your motors. Um, make sure that you have configured the maximum throttle in iNav uh, to be 1700 as well, so that when you are in a mode that is an autonomous flight mode, such as uh, return to home, your aircraft, and it's flying, let's say, against the wind, so that your aircraft doesn't um, overpower um, the ESCs because they are, like I mentioned, drone ESCs. They're meant, if they were proper um, uh, fixed wing ESCs, then they would have had uh, these little thermal, uh, like thermal pads um, with, with a big heat sink on top. Um, but be because they don't have that, um, I, I recommend you do this. And um, I'll put a link in the description of where I got my thermal pads because I bought thermal pads for this. Um, yeah, I got them from AliExpress. Nothing special, nothing fancy, nothing expensive. Um, but yeah, it definitely does help. It adds a little bit of weight, but it does help. Um, and it makes sure that your ESCs never burn. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.